Yeah, we knew this was going to be a really tough game. Um, you know, I think what you see with uh, with Middle is their um, their discipline on the offensive end, and then they really try to take you out of your strengths um, with their defense, and, and they did a really good job. Obviously, they made um, made a lot of big shots um, that I thought were very timely. Uh, Coach, what was MTSU doing with that screen action that was leading to so many open threes? Well, they had different they had different uh, actions that, that got them open. Um, to be quite honest with you, I think they had probably three or four um, threes off of loose balls. They had some threes off of um, offensive boards, and those are the ones that well, we got to we got to clean that up. Um, they, they do a great job executing. So you might give up one or two there, but they, they do. Their their action um, was was hard for some of our players to guard. Uh, Kelly, I feel like your team has really kind of taken the momentum in the fourth. Took that one point lead. Just why do you feel like your team wasn't able to hold on to that? Well, you got to make plays on both ends of the court, and um, you know we'll go back and analyze each possession in that moment, how much we were up or, or down. I don't I don't recall exactly in this moment, but um, we didn't get the stops. We didn't get the scores. I thought we took some bad shots and uh, or, uh, our shot selection in those moments was not where it needed to be. Caroline, what kind of led your offensive efficiency tonight in your new career high in points? Um, obviously, we knew number two was going to sit in the paint, so I think that um, I was able to score kind of um, in that 15 foot three point range pretty well because she wasn't up on me. So I think we kind of fed into that. Coach, what did you see Caroline doing so well? And then what did the rest of the offense not do so well to not be able to keep up? Yeah, um, schematically, we felt um, uh, really good about what we could get for Caroline. Um, she had a really good practice yesterday knocking down those open shots and finding the exact same shots that we saw. Um, so we, we anticipated that um, pretty well. Um, we couldn't get rhythm with some of our other players. Uh, and and we'll, listen, we got to credit their defense for that. Uh, there's, there's no doubt they, they did a great job. Um, and uh, we, we couldn't get around. We, we had a hard time getting around um, our one-on-one -on -one defenders. And then uh, we didn't get a lot of ball movement. Uh, know you're down some key players tonight, and this kind of losing spot isn't really tough. But just first loss in program history to Middle Tennessee. Where do you go from here? You know, how do you bounce back from this? Well, you know, this one, um, got, we've got to take some ownership, a little bit more ownership than we're taking in that locker room right now. To be quite honest with you, and um, you know, I think we are um, we're we're trying to help them. But at some point, they've got to step up and help themselves. And um, really challenging our team right now. Um, Coach, um, late in that fourth quarter, you were having a little trouble with their interior action. Do you think that was due to overemphasizing defending the three, or do you think that was due to how they were playing inside? Well, they, they have great balance. And going into the game, their leading scorer was their center. I mean, they do a great job of getting her the basketball and letting her go one on one. Um, she she doesn't have to play in a lot of double teams because you can't leave the shooters. So they have um, the the personnel they have around her really works for her, and uh, they do a really good job of being patient to find exactly what they want every possession. Coach, how did you feel the preparation coming into this game was? Do you feel like maybe the team overlooked MTSU coming into tonight? I I thought our preparation was pretty good. I, I did not think we overlooked them by no stretch of imagination. I know, uh, I mean, we knew how good they were. We tried to we tried to make sure that our players knew that as well. Um, you know, we're, we understood. I thought we did a good job in the first half and, and into the third quarter of guarding their actions. I thought we did a good job. It was the loose balls, offensive boards that really hurt us um, for the majority of that game. We had some breakdowns there late in their actions, and that was all of our preparation. I thought we had a really good prep in guarding their actions. Um, uh, offensively, we tried to um, tried to anticipate what we were going to see and how they were going to really attack our team. Go first before I have to go. 
Coach, you said you wanted the team to take ownership of the loss. What does that exactly look like as you prepare for the well, team? Well, I, I think they've really got to, um, individually, they've got to look inside themselves and see where each person can get better. Um, you know, we're, we, as a staff, we continue to help them and continue to work with them every day. Um, but, uh, you know, there, there's got to be some, there's got to be some uh, gut checks right now. You had a lot of reliance up there with, you know, short post rotation tonight some foul troubles, not some four guard lineups. Did you feel like sometimes hands were tied a little bit with like what lineups you could run out there? Yeah, there were there were a few lineups that I, I didn't love there in the first half um, due to foul trouble and a short post rotation. Um, we we you know knew we were going to have to have a tough game, so we wanted these players to um, we didn't want to have them more than two going into halftime and thought we managed it okay, but there were there were a few combinations that, you know, probably weren't our best to be out there. Uh, we did a little bit better job of that, I thought, in the second half. We're okay going small, that's okay, um, but uh, some some of the combinations didn't give us a, a flow that we needed. Um, Coach, another game getting out-rebounded. How, what did you make of that rebound before this night, and what, how do you improve on it? I don't when I said we got to take some ownership, that's what that's one of the areas. Um, our, our rebounding, we emphasize it, we practice it, we work on it um, every single day, and uh, we've got to start making some strides on the court in games. Caroline, coming back to your home state and having a career high, is there some extra motivation coming back to Alabama and playing? Or honestly, I never make my way up here because I'm about five hours down south, but um, it did feel good to kind of be on my home turf and um, look up and see um, a lot of people that I knew from Sarah's hometown and um, uh, my old AAU coach was here too, so that was cool to see. Julian in concussion protocol, do you expect her back soon? I, I'm, I'm not sure. That will, uh, when you get in that concussion protocol, it is 100% um, day to day. And then we'll see how that goes. Rukia, how has she been able to do in practice anything? Um, no, not, I shouldn't say no, um, a little bit. She's starting to progress um, a little bit more each day, but it's, it, you know, we're still still monitoring her situation and um, hope to get her back sooner rather than later. First, second. Coach, in some of those sets where, like, before the end of the first quarter, end of the second quarter, third quarter, what's going wrong on the offensive possessions where you turned it over to NTSU tonight? Well, I mean, you, you can't turn the ball over. Um, you know, I think part of that was um, some spacing, and, and part of it's our ball handling. And, um, you know, we've got a really, uh, I think that schematically we can look at a few things maybe to tweak to help them in those situations from tonight. Talk about just the players need to take ownership in the locker room, um, need to look inward, but set four and five, do you think kind of everybody needs to take a look inward at this point? Oh. Oh yeah, I mean, oh obviously we do. I mean, that's that's my job. I mean, every single day I'm I pick apart every single decision I make, and um, you know I, I know that um, our staff is working their tail off right now, hundred percent. Um, but you know when we talk about we got to have some of that in the locker room. We got to have some leaders emerge in our locker room right now more than ever. Coming down here to Huntsville, um, I know it was Middle Tennessee's home game and the decision that you had to, you know, you guys had to agree to it. Uh, what was the experience like as far as having to come down here to Huntsville and would you come back? Well, it's been, um, you know, other than the outcome of the game and, mm. uh, you know, rebounding during the game, uh, it was a, a really good experience, I think, for us. Um, Everybody treated us great, and um, you know, it, was a, it was a fun atmosphere to play in. We were able to drive down, so it was um, good to get here. It's an area that we don't get in a whole lot, um, so it, it was, um, I thought it was positive. Uh, Jewel Spears is a guard that, that can take over games when she gets on a roll, and it seems like Middle Tennessee was doing something defensively to not let her really get going. When did you think Middle did well to, to hold Jewel to just three points tonight? I thought they guarded her really well. It, they limited her touches, and then when she got the basketball, they pressured her and, and guarded her. 
Um, MTSU was able to get, I think, the second and third quarter of the year threes to end the quarter. Just how big of an emphasis is that for you moving forward to not only, if you have the ball, you know, close out that last possession and also not allow that to happen? Yeah, I'll tell you that the, the two, the back-to-back -back threes to end the second quarter were critical. Um, we had a uh, uh, probably an ill-advised shot that led to a transition three and then we had a turnover that led to a three and uh, we've got to take some on that's on us you know those two plays uh, we've got to do a better job on the other end of the court so that that doesn't happen but um, th those were um, those were I thought those two in particular were critical Kelly Middle Tennessee had four scores in double digits tonight, another one with nine. How much does it stretch your defense when you have to worry about so many threats to score the ball? Well, they um, obviously part of part of that comes from those players are playing the bulk of the minutes, right? I mean they're not there's not gonna they're very rarely is middle gonna win bench points. Um, so they're gonna get more shots, but they, they're efficient. I mean they do a nice job of knowing who they are and, and what shots that each of them needs to take. With, you know, Brickia out now with Sherman back, Jillian out too, just where does, you know, your folks go offensively to improve from, you know, this? I know defensively you probably have you know, something to fix tonight, but just offensively where do you think the team needs to make strides? Yeah, um, you know, we need to be able to continue to get the ball to the paint. We A lot of times we're settling for threes. We've got to be able to get the ball to the paint. So we've got to keep working on that, um, whether that's off the drive or off post touches, I think that's going to be really important. Um, you know, Jillian and Rakia both are two of our better rebounders. And, you know, there's no doubt that hurt. Um, there's no, no doubt. But the players that are out there have to raise their game, regardless of who's on the court with them. They have to raise their game in that area because this is a that's an all-hands-on-deck stat right there for us. More questions for Coach Caroline? Thank you. All right, thank you guys.